We do not recognize uh, the current uh, Ukrainian authorities as legitimate. We do have various working contacts. We do have non-political con uh, contacts with them. As you probably know, Prime Minister Medvedev even spoke to uh, Prime Minister Yitzhenyuk, uh, uh, who, uh, I mean, several days ago discussing various uh, aspects of the situation. And uh, our government uh, is under instructions from President Putin uh, to continue uh, dealing with various specific economic uh, problems uh, and, and uh, maybe cooperation, which we uh, have uh, with uh, Ukraine. However, political contacts we are refla uh, refraining from. As to the sanctions, I don't want to go into it. It's a double-edged sword. And of course, uh, we cannot possibly regard it as something which, uh, which is useful under any circumstances. The decision of the Crimean parliament to secede from Ukraine and to hold a referendum to confirm that decision may be as early as next week. Clearly, such a referendum would be illegal under Article 73 of the Ukrainian Constitution and it would also be deeply destabilizing. The OSCE delegation that uh, was turned back at the border, they reported to the uh, OSCE earlier today that at that checkpoint on the administrative border between Crimea and the rest of Ukraine, there were a number of different uh, forces there, but there were clearly uh, forces that were in the uniforms of the uh, Russian Naval uh, Command, and there were also uh, troops that were in the standard Russian Armed Forces uh, uniforms. What is more, these forces are going round in uh, vehicles that have Russian military plates. Um, so I don't think there's much doubt that there is uh, uh, deployment of Russian military outside their bases all over the Crimean Peninsula. We condemn the attack on Envoy Seri, and we have made clear over the past, as we have made clear over the past few days, getting monitors into Crimea is a critical task and one the Russians should welcome, given their stated concern for ethnic Russians in Ukraine. Uh, under very sad circumstances, there is a way to resolve this crisis that respects the interests of the Russian Federation as well as the Ukrainian people. Let international monitors into all of Ukraine, including Crimea, to ensure the rights of all Ukrainians are being respected, including ethnic Russians. Begin consultations between the government of Russia and Ukraine with the participation of the international community. Supporting the people of Ukraine as they move to elections in May is critical so that they can choose their leaders without outside intimidation.